you to use I want to use I want you to use this opportunity to to think about what is happening in Nigeria in Nigeria um, there's a war that happened between 1967 to 1970 that's that's called the uh, Biafran war that war was said to have uh, uh, finished in uh, 1970. That was uh, 1970 uh, January. But I will tell you now that the war is still going on since then, since that time, for 52 years ago till now. The Nigerian army are still killing the Biafrans. And the, 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 the the, 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 uh, there, there is a media media boycott from reporting the, the news. The news is only reporting that things are okay. If you eventually report that there's something happening or you have a, 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 a evidence on that, then the, the owner of the TV station, if not controlled by the government, which virtually all the, all the media houses are, are being you know, uh, uh, controlled by the government. It's only now that uh, the social media is everywhere that people somehow can share the videos. But anytime it, come, uh, it comes out and uh, the Nigerian government is confronted with it, then the... to finish school in Biafra land you need to move out from there if you are there you are it's, it's like you are under the control of the military and the government the government government forces police and all the forces they they have formed in Nigeria yeah, be a mon on the Madoc, any now born on our Boko defa, newly con em. Here look at government, newly con em and life. Here born on the Madden, now Boko. Ebubago, na and the army combined together. Here on the Madden defa, now Boko now. It's so sad. I drank up Madra army, shooting the people, killing the people, can see the video. That's what would the Damn I'm on the mother couldn't every day. There's no peace. There's no freedom. From the Afro land they are two people in the class. They are the ones who will value Nami, yeah. everything they I'm on the mother government. Government. They have a dictatorial system of government whereby one man yeah. is more powerful than all the presidents in this world. Everything they say happens. If they say you die today, you die. As I'm telling you, many people are sitting in prison because they go against the government. They sit in prison. Or even when they leave you to go to be free, like free, they, you are being monitored 24 hours. You cannot do anything that is, is, not, that is against their own plans or their own uh, 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 agenda. You cannot say, talk to the press, and say something wrong with the government. You only say something good about the government. And if you don't do that, then the best thing is for you to leave, to travel, to immigrate to other countries. We are from people are the highest travel in the whole world. A lot of them die in, in, on the way to, 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 to Europe and then America. They take the highest reach to live outside their family. Right now, Mwazin Namde Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, a freedom movement, a, a, a freedom movement, was, who have left, he was in Biafra land, he was attacked by the military, he left, he ran away to, to, to Israel, 
from there because he's a British citizen. He ran to England. Also, he have visited America. One, at one point, he, he visited Kenya. The Nigerian government orchestrated his kidnap in Kenya and they extraordinarily renditioned him back to Nigeria by force. And now, right now, he's in jail. He is in prison in Nigeria. And the court in Nigeria, the, the court in Nigeria, have freed him from all the charges. But still, the Nigerian government, through the Attorney General of Nigeria, they hold him and say that he will not go, they will not release him, and nothing happens. The Britain, British government knows about that, and they do nothing about it. Upon that, this man is their citizen. Because the Nigerian government is a lying government. He lied to them. And even they are going against the, the international law of, of, of rendition. The British government didn't do, don't want to do anything. The United Nations don't want to do anything. The Nigerian government, they, they don't care because they are backed by Britain and the, and the rest of, uh, of, the, of the European Union and, and, the, and the America, obviously. Because this, is, this cannot happen anywhere in the world. So I want you to know and you think about it. So by the time you go uh, in February to go and vote for somebody to validate their crimes, their criminalities, think about that. You are in a better country, a country that have good amenities, a country that have employment, that employ you, even though you are a foreigner, they, you have employment, you are paying them tax and all that. You have your freedom. You walk around without being harassed by the police and the army and all the security agencies. Still, you are supporting them in Nigeria. The government in Nigeria that is against everything, everything human rights, they are against it. They don't want you to have human rights or religious, even religious rights. They have, they have people going around killing people and without being prosecuted. They don't even arrest them. If you, if you venture to arrest them, to, within 24 hours, they release them. And they come after you that arrested them. Go and verify. I'm not, hide, it's not, I'm not lying about this. It's, it's, a, it's an open truth that only few people, maybe in Biafra land, might tell you. But a lot of people abroad, ask them if they're from Nigeria. They will tell you the truth, exactly what I'm telling you. So I hope this video, if you, when you watch this video, send it. Just... Press on share button so that the whole world can hear. I don't care about Nigerian government seeing it because it's a risk, but it's a, a risk worth taking to show my face and tell them that no matter what you do, you can never stop the shining moon or the sun from shining. People are still moving around in Biafra land upon you have been fighting them for 52 years. The people find a way to, to be happy, to do their normal businesses up, up, upon all the harassment and, and all the blockades and the, every, every, every immoral things you are doing. The, your police is raping, the army is raping, destroying businesses, doing all sorts of... Every day people are dying unnecessarily in Biafra land. If they see you, they seize your phone. If they see anything... Anything against the government, or any, you shared anything against the government to expose the government, you'll be arrested and killed, extraordinarily killed, without your people knowing anything about you. They will never see you again. They harvest the organs of people. They do all, some, all forms of criminality. That's if you hear it. Here, a little thing will happen. The person will be... The, the, I, since I've been in this country, I have never seen the army walking around. Go to Biafra land, you see poli army, police having heavy guns, heavy duty guns, walking around, threatening people. If they ask you a question, you waste time. You have a, a, just a little latent time to, 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 to answer. They'll shoot you. And what they will say is that you threaten them. They don't care. There are many cases. I cannot start to mention them. You know, but if I'm, I'm allowed to, to, if I could get hand or hand in, lay my hand in, in a lot of videos that we have evidences that is even difficult to bring out and share to the media because you can never share such such in social media.
you'll be, you'll be blocked. You'll be blocked. Very bloody. Very... Oh my God, I, can know, I don't know how to explain this. Sometimes I feel like crying, but what does it help? The only way that can help is when people share and the whole world, let the whole world know. And the only, only opportunity people will have in that Nigeria is to divide Nigeria in, into ethnic groups. Let everybody go on their own because they are, you know, they are banking on the, 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 the disunity in the society and they're manipulating everybody because they made the, the president the head they, or they call them presidency the president and his cabinet they make them the head and they're above, they above the law so they can kill and they, and they can kill they can do and undo they can kill, they can create, they can do whatever they want nobody asks questions if the world come in to like a foreigner come in and see what is happening they, if you talk about it and, you know, maybe their government starts asking them, we heard about this from our journalists, is it true and all that, they will convince the government that it's nothing, it's, it's a lie. That is a lie. The only thing they will be interested in, who told you that? How do you, how do you get the, the, the information? And once you make a mention a name, <coughs> they will go there and arrest, arrest the person and kill the person. It is dictatorial government. A lot is happening. The world should not look idly and, and, and watch. That's why many Nigerians come abroad. They do all sorts of crime to survive because they wasted their years, you know, just moving around in a circle. When they are getting old with their mental, mental, uh, mental, uh, mentality being destroyed and everything, they get opportunity to go abroad. They, you know, they want to recover all the years they have wasted. And in doing that, do you think, you know that their mental, the mental psyche has been destroyed. So they're making mistakes here, there, and all that. You know? So you see, you see a lot of them committing crimes, ending up in jail. That is why. You know, doing all sorts of scam and, and fraud in order to survive. So the world must hear this. Nobody should hide it. You know, Nigeria should be a, a very nice place, very beautiful place. But the government, it, they are sitting on it and they're destroying it every day. Nigeria have oil. They have all, every source of uh, uh, natural resources you can think of, gold. Uh, um, uh, uranium, diamond, everything is in Nigeria. But they sit on art, on that, selling it, making use of the money. In the news these days, they find out that the government and their agencies have pipe on the, the natural pipelines they have to distribute the, 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 the crude oil among themselves. They have, you know, people, you know, attaching their own pipelines everywhere. When you make you a minister or a sec chief security officer to guide the pipeline, you go on one place on the pipeline, you attach your own and you'll be, you know, drawing the, 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 the crude to your own uh, 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 private, uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, business. And when they find out, they don't even punish them because they know if you punish this one, that one, he will expose that one, and that one, the exposure will go up till the, 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 the head. And you know what? They don't, and they don't put money in the government coffers, in the, you know, the, the government coffers so that they can use it to, to build infrastructure, to build schools, to build hospitals, and all the amenities. They just put the money and bank it abroad everywhere, America, London, England, everywhere in Everywhere around the world, they bank the money there. And their, their children, they, don't, they never go to school in Nigeria. They send them abroad. They send them abroad to go to school. Do you, can, can you imagine that? You know? So all these things is what makes people think. Some, some, a lot of people have, you know, just taken their lives, commit suicide. They can't in this society. Because once you've been, especially when you have been abroad, and you've been sent back there, you have seen light and you go back to that darkness. A lot of people, they, they, they commit suicide. They cannot take it. I myself, I cannot live in Nigeria now. I can't. 
because they have spoiled the system so much that you can never survive there after having sojourned abroad, especially for many years. You cannot. You know, I can only go there for a visit, stay there for as little as short as possible, see my family, the rest of the family that are there, and I'm out again. And most, most people does that. A lot of children of Nigerian parentage, they never, once they go, once they visit there, they don't want to go there again. Because things, you know, no, no country, no country can be compared, especially, let's say, take African standard to be compared with Nigeria. They, they, they just cover up the giant of Africa. But actually, they are the least in Africa in terms of everything, education. People educate themselves. The government don't help in anything. Schools, people sit on the floor, bare floor, upon all the money and resources Nigeria has. Think about that. So this, all this thing charade going about is that they're just using the money they're making, you know, to make themselves look big, look nice with nice clothes and build nice house around them. But go around in the street, the street is full of dirt. They don't even collect the, the waste people are, you know, throwing everywhere. There's a lot of the sicknesses, people die of sicknesses, some people die of hunger. You know, only a small group are doing okay. Those in government, you know, Nigeria is 200 million people, but not more than 1 million people are doing well. Can you imagine that? Max 2 million out of 200 million. So think about that. And the rest is those who have left, who have migrated abroad, who are sending money back to, to their families at home. That money is, is more than the budget, Nigerian budget, Nigerian government budget. Can you imagine? You see? And that budget they, 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 they show to the world, they just want to show you, once you look away, oof, in their pocket, they share among themselves. And people are suffering. Because the budget, they will, nail, they will mention that they will use it for hospital, they will use it for electricity, they will use it for this budget, you know, good amenities, good things, nice, painted. But once the camera is switched off, they share the money among themselves, and people start suffering again. The only thing that works in Nigeria is private schools, private hospitals, everything private, and you pay through your nose. If you go to government-owned, my God, you will die in that hospital if it's government-owned. If you go to government-owned school, you will not study, you will not get any education in that school. It doesn't matter if it's primary, tertiary, or university. Can you imagine that? So that's why I'm exposing this to the world. When, when we talk, when people say, hey, bring out the evidence. The evidence is hard to get. You cannot get it. If you get it from Nigeria, they will search your phone. They will search everything. If they get it, you are dead. So how can we? We are tired. So the world, send your journalists there. Let them go and find out. If they could, because they have agents everywhere watching everything. And if you don't go through the government agents, they will, they, will, they will assume that it's a lie. You see? So people, it's like, just the only thing you can do for us, help dissolve Nigeria. So that everybody to their tents. So people can build their, go, go, their countries. Because Nigeria wasn't like it is today. The British are the ones who put Nigeria, many different tribes, many different people, kinds of people together to make a big country so that I don't know for, for their own selfish interest. So just cut, short and simple about how Nigeria, you know, become a country. You know, it was during colonial era. They put it together. People who can never agree. It's like putting, let me say, and it's not only that they put them together now, they want them to, to, to have a system whereby uh, the central government controls everything. They don't do it uh, uh, like in America, whereby the, the, you know, the power goes to the regions and the states. No. The federal government controls the police, army, everything, even up to uh, everything. They control everything. <laughs> you don't have power. Even the, the everything they control. 
if they made it to be like in the American system, whereby they, 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 they dissolve the power, give the power to the states and the regions, then it would be difficult. The, 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 the judiciary system in Nigeria is so corrupt and so afraid, so, con so much controlled by the federal government that the, you never get justice. You never get justice. You just pay too much money to the lawyers and everything. They know you cannot get justice. They just take a lot of money from you and, you know, you just leave your own mercy on the mercy of the government. If you agree to sign a, 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 an undertaker, then you go free and you go and live like, uh, <laughs> like the others that have caged. Like they're caging people every day. So this is it, my brothers and sisters, and the whole world must hear this. So if you there, you see, if you there abroad, and you see the support that charade where they, they call election, if they call your family, say, hey, make it vote for this person, make it vote that things go better, you know go better, and you know that. You know go better. The only thing that go better is to dissolve that country. If you have your own country, wouldn't, wouldn't you be happy? You have traveled around, you see, no system is in like in Nigeria no norm no system that's why you couldn't walk you know they just put you know put, put heads together to knock each other all the time fighting for for crumbs why they are there eating the big fish big cake enjoying their children you know putting their children in strategic places use your brain you know please that's what my plea Thank you very much. This is it for you. It's not for hate, it's for love.